In this video, I'm going to be showing you the print of the Falcon 9 rocket. It's a 3D print that took about five days total print time. It's been condensed down to one minute. And following that, I'll show you the results of painting and sanding and preparing it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and please subscribe. This is a look at the SpaceX Falcon 9. This is after three coats of sandable primer and a lot of sanding. Let's take a look at this. So now you can look, it seems like there's a lot of layers here, but it's pretty smooth. Um, some of these areas, like the very tip, and some areas down here, I gotta go over with a second coat of primer. Um, you also notice the color differences. So what I did is, the base PLA was white, and then I did gray primer, two coats of it on top of that, sandable primer, and then another coat of white sandable primer. So I can easily see where, like if you look here, hardly anything needed to be sanded off to smooth it out. Um, up here, obviously, a lot more, especially at the Z seam. So we'll continue this with uh, a look of it after another coat of primer and sanding and the final coat of spray paint before we do the detail work on the SpaceX logo. But it's turning out pretty good. Um, to get an idea, let's see, I can push this back a little bit. This is about four feet tall. So it's, it's pretty sizable. You can see on the door, it goes up to the second hinge on a four hinge door. So we'll continue this uh, with a look at it after it's been primed and sanded again, and then uh, uh, painted. Alright, I just got done doing a fourth coat of sandable primer and sanding it down. And now you really can't, I guess you can't see. You can still cut it, but it is really smooth. So if I like run my finger over, you don't feel anything. Even though it looks like there's layer lines, I've sanded it down where the whole rocket is pretty smooth. The only areas where it's not is these areas where you can see where there was fairly, I guess, a fair amount of movement in the print and it was deep grooves where I just wasn't able to fill it in with four coats of, of filler, but it's close enough. I think it's good enough where once we coat it with paint, it's gonna look pretty good. It probably will, you'll probably, if you look at it closely, you'll be able to tell it's 3D printed, but it won't be, uh, I guess, obvious from a distance. So, so the next step is I'm gonna start putting down paint layers I'm gonna start with a uh, first, just a first coat of thin coat of white, and then I'm gonna start layering on a little bit thicker to cover up all the different, uh, I guess, discoloration. So you can see, actually, let's take a look at this really closely. So you can see here, we can see the different layers. So if we look closely at this, we can see that the top layers are white, which you can see over here. Then underneath that, I had gray primer, and underneath that, you can see the, the white PLA that it was printed with at the very, very bottom. So you can see that in those cases, that had the, essentially the most filler in the in-between spaces because it's basically white at the top and white PLA. Now it's hard to sand with and not remove at all any of the top layer, but you just have to, you know, you'll have to eat into the, in the layers a little bit. So we will continue this video with uh, the final coats and then I'll show you the finished product. And you can, uh, you know, I'll, I'll include in the description, uh, I guess a summary of the methods that, that I use to create this. So here is the completed SpaceX uh, Falcon 9. You can see, I'm going to zoom in on this. I painted, we'll do a foreground up. So I painted the lettering, which was kind of painful. It turned out okay. You can see after the coats for spray paint and sanding, it looks pretty good. I think to do a really good job, I would have needed to sand it. You can see there's still a little bit of, of uh, I guess, Z shift there. To fix that, I probably would have had to do two more coats and sand it down again. Um, maybe I should have, but 
it, I think it turned out pretty good. It's smooth, just not quite perfect. The other option is to print slower. So in uh, so thank you for taking a look at this. Uh, I will include links below to what I use to print it and also include uh, some videos I use to you know determine you know the methodology behind the sanding and the uh, filler etc. If you enjoyed this video please like it and please subscribe to our channel.